Afternoon everyone, back from the boot fair. I've had a little doze, a little dad nap. Um, I got up really early this morning. Normally I get up at about quarter to five and leave the house at half five. Um, with the clocks going forward, um, I was awake earlier. I must have been awake like probably about three o'clock. I left the house at five. I thought, well, rather than wait indoors to leave, I'll, um, I'll leave early and get further up the car queue. Um, I was hoping I missed out last week and uh, was totally gutted and I'd actually spoken to the guy um, after I missed out on, on a bit of a haul and he um, he said I could pop around during the week and um, I got, I've rang him a couple of times, I didn't want to hassle him, he didn't pick up and then I sent him a WhatsApp which he read and didn't respond. <laughs> So I thought, well, I don't want to be stalking the guy. Hopefully, he'll just be at the boot fair. So it was with that hope that I got in the queue first at silly o'clock in the morning and got in there and searched for my hall man and he wasn't there. So even more gutted than I was last week. Um, so that was on my mind as I was going round and, um, you know, looking one eye out on, on, on the guy seeing if he's there and not not really looking at what was there and uh it wasn't great actually a bit drizzly and um not a lot of sellers but i'm going to show you what i got it's not brilliant but that is it it's mother's day as well it could be lots of people who are going to see their mum which i did after the boot fair um, but i'll show you what i've got anyway very sparsely populated table i know when i'm buying mugs things are bad so I have bought some mugs. Um, these were, I think they were a pound each, either a pound each or 50p, I think they were a pound each. Five mugs. Um, no idea, that's um Shrek one, quite a nice one. Hopefully the Wallace and Gromits will go all right. Pooh Bear might be all right. I mean, I think you're probably looking at maybe eight quid if you're lucky. Um, another cheapo buy was these Top Trumps. Um, that's, that's going to be chucked. It's a Tottenham one. I don't know why I got these. And um, I had a feeling that the um, London 2012 ones were worth money, but I, I spoke to Master of Pieces, um, and they're not. Uh, kids will play with these. These are just Marvel ones, I think. And again, Michael Jackson ones. I thought they might have some collectability, but um, I think probably not. Probably a waste of... They were two quid. For the five packs. Brum. Brum's quite good actually. I've sold Brum in the past for about 20 quid, I think. Um, but it's friction motor, you've got to make sure the friction motor works. Last one I got it didn't work and it just ended up being chucked. Um, and I think that wheel just needs looking at. But that's all right. I don't think I will get 20 quid for it this time. I think that was maybe a bit of a one off. Um, but you know, maybe maybe a ten or plus. Uh, got four DS games. That's the first thing I bought. It was a pound each, which might be a bit pricey, but it was to get going, get up and running. I'm gonna whiz over here because I've missed this one out. Star Wars trilogy. I don't normally buy videos, but this looks. I mean, Star Wars. It's from 1989, and I'm. It just again at the back of my mind think that, that there's like a, a vintage box set that is worth a bit of money. The interesting thing about this is Star Wars in it is called Star Wars. So it's not called A New Hope. Uh, you know, when it came out it was called Star Wars. Don't know when it actually changed. I thought I thought it changed when the Empire Strikes Back came out. Um, but this video just does have Star Wars Star Wars on it. So there you go. But yeah, all the old art, all, all the old kind of like original art and lettering, the classic stuff. Right, we stuff now. Um, first guy, I've, well, I've got these for pound fifty. I meant to buy some DVDRs last week and ended up getting CDRs because I'm an idiot. But um, there you go. Um, first we I bought, the guy had that. And this, a wee fit board and a load of plastic um, tennis rackets and golf clubs. Um, 
and he wanted 25 and I said oh, well okay well if I just do the wee for 15 and then he said oh, will, will you take it all for 15 and this is where it starts getting a bit weird because I said no no I don't want it all um what I'll do is I'll, I'll take that for a tenner <laughs> so he'd gone from yeah he could have sold it to me for 15 and it had gone down to a tenner and then I, st I said um well, will you chuck in all those games it was just a big bundle of games you know um I said what you want them for nothing and I was, and I said well yeah and um in the end I said I said well I'll give you two quid for them and he said well will you give me three so I did I gave him three I thought that's fair enough so 13 quid box wee it was all there apart from the um sensor bar and I got a sensor bar so that's all right um load of games 13 pounds as opposed to this Wii, didn't have the Wii Sports in that one, but this Wii, um, the guy wanted 25, um, which I was kind of okay to pay, um, but he had some other games, he, he, pricey, pricey one, this one. Um, the Wii Sports was in there. Um, he had another Wii Sports in um, cardboard case and a Mario Kart. And I said, well, if you put in the Mario Kart and you put in, put in the other Wii Sports, because I'm thinking I'll sell the Mario Kart with a wheel. I'll probably put the other Wii Sports in here, even though I've got Mario, um, Wii Sports on disc. Um, how much would you do that for? And he did it for 30 quid. So that's sort of like kind of very top end of what I pay. Maximum I'll pay for a box Wii is probably around 20, 25. Yeah, it's got to be in good condition though. This one did have a little, little dink in there. But with the Mario Kart, I mean, I put the Mario Kart with a wheel, probably sell it for around about 20-ish. Uh, the Wii Sports will go in here. The original Wii Sports will be in there. And they'll sell for like, I think they'll sell for about 60. That's what they're selling over Christmas for. So um, hopefully I'll get that. And then the last thing is this uh, DVD combi. This is broken and it hasn't got a remote control. So I'll probably, I'll probably just take that off and, and won't sell it with it. Um, he wanted a tenner. I paid a fiver. I wasn't going to pay a tenner because I didn't want to. Um, and that is all I got today. It's not the best in the world, but there you go. That's how it is sometimes. I keep finding things I bought. I bought this as well. Great big Donkey Kong. Um, it had some PVA on the back, but it's, it's come off just with a wet, a wet cloth. Um, so he was two quid. Never sold a big Donkey Kong before. Um, but yeah, it should be more than two quid, I think. I wonder if there's anything else I've forgotten. I don't think there is. I think that is it now. I did get these as well. Again, this was kind of like hard thinking that my kids might want it, but they've already got it. So um, they were a pound, I think. Um, but yeah, not a brilliant boot fair really. Um, don't quite know why. Quite disappointing seeing as it's just the second one of the season uh, at Hook. Um, and very really disappointing because I was awake at about like God knows what hour. And it felt like about three o'clock. Um, but there you go. That swings and roundabouts. I'm going to get on. I might try and list all this stuff. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? And just buy it, list it, sell it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Um, I also need some lunch. I'm going to go and do that. Hope you all had some good boot fairs. Let us know what you got in the comments and uh, speak to you soon. See you later.